Hi guys, it's Celine here and today on my channel I'm going to be doing a meal prep with me but here's the kicker. Um, we're only really cooking the bacon and the vegetables for both my lunch and my dinner or I mean for my lunch and my breakfast but here's another kicker. We have a hurricane, well I think right now it's Milton and it's a tropical storm, I believe, um, right now in this moment that I'm filming. We live in South Florida, so at the moment we're not quite sure where it's going. So this meal prep is gonna be hectic because when is my life not hectic? So let's get closer to the kitchen and show you what I have. Containers, we have, oops, I don't know what the hell that was, and I don't really want to know. I have five old seasoning containers. This will be for the buffalo sauce. Five little round containers. This will be for the eggs. Five meal prep containers. Usually, if you guys know, I only usually do four. But because I don't know where I'm going to be on Thursday on my um, day off at the moment, I'm going to make five just to meal prep, rather meal prep and not eat it. Then, I mean, this is the most basic lunch, like most basic thing for me nowadays anyway. So I have five here for that. And I have not one, not two, not three, not four but five of these snack and like snack bags and this will be for the cooked bacon we have a bowl of five eggs two different buffalo sauces we have sweet baby rays um i think we have the moore's one in here as well um but we are going to everything like vegan in this household eventually so i just don't have enough in the in here for five days worth we have bacon for the side for the eggs we have gluten-free chicken breast bites and like always brussels sprouts i just find brussels sprouts the easiest and i will always eat them and then on top of that we will have the griddle here for the bacon just so i can mass cook it without having to like cook it you know for 30 freaking minutes and then i also will have a pot for the brussels sprouts but we are going to start with meal prepping the easy stuff first so i'm going to bring the brussels sprouts and the the bacon away And the only reason why I'm not meal prepping these is because I'm picky with the eggs. And I don't really qualify salt or pepper as a seasoning, but pepper, garlic powder, and seasoning salt. Usually I wouldn't season these. Um, but because obviously with this hurricane, I'm kind of going over the top. I add milk in here in the eggs to make them a little fluffier. The milk of choice is Ripple, it's the plant-based one. I get the unsweetened version. And 
And I don't add a lot. And then whenever I go to cook them, usually, um, if I had bacon in here to make like an a unscrambled or an un a scrambled omelet, um, I would I would actually have to take it out and mix it, but um, I can just shake it and make it easier and then just stick it in the pan. Because where we're staying, I have to do a bit of traveling to get to work. So the faster, the better. And now we have half of our breakfast finished. And those of you who ask, um, or for those of you who hate on my videos, I do clean in between shots, don't worry. Now we're gonna do the uh, sauce. You know what's crazy is I used to me uh, hate my mom for meal prepping, like hate on her for it, and look at me. Meal prepping with a nine to five though, like me, and who's like constantly busy, you know, working and YouTube and everything. I just never um, found the time to eat healthier. But with the meal prepping, it makes it so much easier. Holy sh does. I like it very buffalo-y, so I add more. I, like I said, I do air fry these. And depending on the size of them, I usually put five to six. And now we're going to just set them on the table. And we are going to cook the veggies and we are going to cook the bacon. We are bringing out the bad gun. Now that I realize, I don't think I officially told you guys what the menu for the breakfast and lunch this week is. Breakfast is going to be one egg scrambled with two pieces of bacon. And lunch is going to be buffalo chicken bites with Brussels sprouts. We just have avocado oil, so I'm just going to be spreading this around so that the bacon doesn't stick to this non-stick. I am trying turkey bacon this time around. And obviously I did kind of like a health update video, I don't know, probably like three weeks ago, maybe four. And I did a little bit of updating and basically said that I have to go, oops, I literally just 
cut some of that bacon. Um, gluten and dairy free, so I've always been wanting to try turkey bacon anyway. Um, I like maple, like I just prefer maple. So what I'm gonna do with the turkey bacon is I'm going to bring my maple syrup with. Kind of reminds me of ham, like it smells like ham, which won't be a big deal. No, it is not good. I just love that I can cook so many pieces of bacon at once. I think I'm gonna have to freeze some of this. So two, four, six, eight, and ten. I really only like two pieces of bacon. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah. I literally have a lot left. Oh, 22 slices. So that's nice. So I have 12 slices left. I'm just gonna stick this in a baggie. And then when my mom gets home, I am going to have her help me make food sealies. They don't smell too bad. I'm the... going to move on to the veggies. I always put some water at the bottom of the pan just so that it doesn't, the meat doesn't stick. I don't have any of my vegan butter, so I'm just gonna have to use it regular, which is fine. Put some at the bottom. I again don't put too much in there just because it's just gonna melt away. But veggies go in, and I use seasoning salt. This uh, seasoning salt is from Aldi's. My mom doesn't particularly like it, it seems a little powdery. And she says that it seems a little spicier, but I do not mind. The spicier, the better. Pepper, just for funsies. And then garlic powder. I usually try not to season it too much because there's a lot going on. Especially with the buffalo sauce. So now... I am just going to do some cleaning up and you guys will watch me.
now that all the bacon is cooked, we are really just waiting for the Brussels sprouts, which take a little bit. So I'm gonna finish cleaning up in the mix. So now we're going to go over everything that I have. I have five sets of eggs and five sets of bacon with two in each. I have five buffalo sauces for the five different sets of uh, chicken bites that still need to be air fried. And then I have Brussels sprouts, um, five different sets of Brussels sprouts, and there's eight in each. I hope you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe, give it a big thumbs up, and if you guys liked this video, comment down below if you guys would ever try this meal down below, and you guys have a good day.